I'm Jillian Einstein. I have a PhD in neuroanatomy. I'm an associate professor in the psychology department and also at the Dalla Lana School of Public Health at the University of Toronto. The major project that we're studying right now is the effect of removing the ovaries before the natural age of menopause and how that might affect cognition and brain function. A lot of research is not replicable, a lot of biological research. And one of the reasons it may not be replicable is because both males and females are used in the study, but they're not, the data aren't disaggregated by sex. You learn a lot about the other when you study both. So I like to say to people who tell me that it's too complicated to study women because well, women have, you know, women have their periods, you have to have twice as many people, you have to study women at different phases of the menstrual cycle, and it just makes the whole thing more complicated. And I say, well, I think if we, um, if we study women and compare them to men, we'll probably find out that men are more complicated than we thought they were. There's more that a researcher could do with respect to their research, which is, first of all, ask themselves, why are they only using female mice? Or why are they only using male mice? I mean, men get breast cancer too, but the models are female. And that's, that's a gender uh, bias, right? So that happens to operate on the female side, but we might learn a lot about female breast cancer if we studied males. I think moves toward equity in all domains has been really beneficial for everybody. Um, the notion that Actually, you get a better society, you get better work, you get better science, you get better, you better understanding of the brain if you include diverse peoples in those studies. Even now, where people are doing studies that are called participatory action research, where it's not just the scientists deciding on what the, prob what the important problem is, but actually asking the communities that they're studying, what would you like us to study? What you, what's important to you? Um, the more the more versions of people and their concerns uh, get involved in studying the brain, I think the richer our work will be and I think um, the more, ultimately, the more parity there will be.